This diary entry from 1877 is indistinguishable from my dating life in 2019. The 10th of October, 1877. I am in love! Her name is Drusilla McAvoy. 15th of October, 1877. Too hasty by far! The McAvoy woman was not for me! I am planning to kill myself, and if the remainder of these pages are blank, anyone who comes across the topic is Oh no! Please tell me there's more to the story! I hope you had a very successful dating life after that point. Oh dear. Sometimes we all have moments where we have feelings for people that aren't quite returned, but it'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's up my bearders and weirdos? One topic here and today we're diving into r slash actual lesbians and I am sat here in my much decorated off Oh my chair squeaky with my my much decorated office in my Santa the ho ho hat And if you would like to sit down with a nice mug of cocoa and enjoy this video with me with your Santa the ho ho hat You're more than welcome to <laughs> I saw how many of you were using the hashtag save the pink sweatshirt recently But I bet none of you expected me to come back in human one sweatshirt especially after all of you ratted on me not cool. <laughs> Today we're diving into r slash actual lesbians. It's such a sweet subreddit. It's so cute. I love it. And I don't think I go into it often enough. And I feel like if I, someone who is a straight person, can relate super hard to the r slash actual lesbian subreddit, then I think all of you can get some enjoyment out of it too. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Hunchback of Notre Dame was my favorite movie as a kid. I thought it was because I was artsy and complex. Watched it again recently and turns out I was just gay for Esmeralda. And I wanted a goat. I think so many people had awakenings during that film where they realized, huh. <laughs> what a character. Esmeralda was great. Also, who didn't want a pet goat after that? Okay, okay, Jake, if you can pull it up, can you pull up that video of the guy who's giving little baby goats hugs? The kids, they all line up for hugs. All of the goats, they're lining up patiently for this big, strong, muscular armed guy to give them hugs. Have it playing over here. And he's giving them hugs, then he puts them down, and they line back up, and they want more hugs, and he has to pick up. And there's so many of them, and he has to keep giving them hugs. Who doesn't want pet goats, is what I'm saying. And also, who didn't like Esmeralda? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> so, she's gay now? Yeah, she turned in all the paperwork last week, and her acceptance letter came this morning. It was all pretty sudden. <laughs> Why am I gay? Nobody in my family is gay. How did this happen? WTF genetics? My dead great aunt, who never married or had kids, but did enjoy gardening, traveling the world, and collecting small statues of naked women alongside the female housemate she lived with for 40 plus years. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what he says. How do you know when lesbian adult fun time is over? What he means? I've never given a woman an organism in my life! Why am I laughing so hard? Girl. Ah, uh, I was at a gay club and a girl hit on me. It was so gross and uncomfortable. Me. Uh, a uh, gay club, gross, girl hit on me, uh, uh uncomfortable gay club, uh. <laughs> I'm screaming at the fact that they edited the meme. Yeah, fam, what, what? What? What is this story? <laughs> I hope they realized how silly they were being in the end. That's a very odd way to- mm. <laughs> hmm. My little cousin at Thanksgiving dinner. So, do you have a crush on anyone? Me. Well, actually, yeah, she- My entire family. Brr, emergency meeting! <laughs> at work, I watched an old man shoot a shot with another older lady. After chatting her up about sissies and how he will not raise his grandson to be gay, she goes, That's nice. Honey, come here to listen to this. And brings over her wife and bro, I died. Oh my goodness gracious. That is not a great pickup line, sir. I hope you learned your lesson. To not be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of my favorite phrases that I've picked up from Jamie. <laughs> uh, I do think it's very important in making these videos that we remind people sometimes that one of the most important parts of life is just don't be a dick. <laughs> Although, now I can see why you've remained single for so long, sir. Sounds like you kind of suck. <laughs> oh, goodness. Everyone, lesbians, hmm, talk to her. <laughs> this advice is useless. <laughs> Being gay means automatically getting labeled, quote, too invested in politics by your straight friends. Me, these laws and policies affect my basic human rights. Straights, don't you think you're a little too into this? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> F this pandemic, I miss eating out my friends. 
<gasps> I mean, with my friends. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> Is that what they call a Freudian slip? <laughs> During my first tattoo, my artist was a very pretty lady with many tattoos, and I winced and then exhaled slowly when she was going over one of my ribs, and she said, Good girl. My entire body just effing froze and I stopped breathing. Huh. Me, a modern day lesbian. I have no idea if this woman is into me. Anne Lister in 1832, after three minutes in the same room as a woman. She's already half in love with me and I'm going to wife her! <laughs> God used up all the confidence to talk to women making Anne Lister. Now the rest of us have to make do. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I effing love girls. In the gay way or the feminist way? Yes. <laughs> Brooklyn Nine-Nine is such a good show. Oh, Rosa. Rosa's amazing. She's goals right there. My gosh, she pulls off leather well. She seems so cool and so not Also, have you heard her voice? <laughs> if you haven't, Google the actress who plays Rosa right now and listen to her voice in interviews. I promise you will not be disappointed. <laughs> what was the last thing you- OP! OP! <laughs> oh my goodness. OP! Merry Christmas! Mm. Merry Christmas! <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. I have the wrong number. You're kind of cute though. <laughs> Do you like girls by chance? <laughs> Amazing. I agree. Where is the rest of this story? <laughs> Can we have the whole animated series now? Can we have the whole live action series? Can we have a movie? Can we have, what, six seasons in a movie? <laughs> I experience same-sex attraction, but my identity is in Christ. Experiencing same-sex attraction is not sinful. Acting on it is. Being tempted is not sinful. Choosing the temptation is. God provides the strength and grace necessary to choose life over the enemy's lives. He is good. Okay, queen, DM me when Jesus isn't looking. <laughs> Oh, that's so sad. Okay, I laughed, but that made me sad at the same time. What are all the principles in the Bible about? It's all like being able to love who you choose to, right? I don't know where people get off saying that in the Bible it says, Ah, being gay is so bad that you will go to hell if you ever experiment with trying to figure out who you are as a person. That seems weird. You love who you love, you're attracted to who you're attracted to. Why deny that of yourself? My goodness. <laughs> A very cute response, though. Like, that's a wholesome amount of trolling, I think. Is that... That's fair. <laughs> and I know this isn't about this. I know. But... But wouldn't there be an apostrophe after enemies? Ugh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm done. <laughs> Cishet writers. What if being in love was illegal? Oh! 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 LGBTQ people. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh. Uh, come closer. I need, I need more queer representation in television and film. Ah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here's the thing about coming out. It's not just one closet. It's like a Russian nesting doll of closets for the rest of your life. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a thought. Whew. Her. Hey, what you looking at? Me. Sorry, your legs look great in those jeans. Her. You should see me without them. Me. Why would you take off your legs? <laughs> Flirt. <laughs> You're so close. <laughs> Elliot Page comes out. Me. I'm going to create a tweet that is so supportive. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My girlfriend wondering why I'm not responding. <laughs> Me trying to spell Gorgos for five minutes. <laughs> Gorg, Gorgos, Gorg. It's almost right. You're. It's closer to Oreos. <laughs> Gorgorios. <laughs> Gorg. Uh oh. G O R. G O U S. Hey Siri. Spell gorgeous. G O R G E O U S. Oh no. <laughs> All right, don't leave that in. Can we talk about how cute they are? I miss Sensate. I do too. They were such a cute lesbian couple. It was such a sweet show. I mean, well, season one was amazing. Season two was also really, really good. Everyone needs to watch Sensate. <laughs> Aww. Oh, they were so sweet together. Aww. 
gay people are like, I can't tell if we're close friends or if we're in love with each other. And also, are we dating? I can't tell. And also, Siri, is it gay to send someone 600 love heart emojis and say you're in love with them? Or is that just a normal platonic teach? <laughs> The amount of gay people reblogging this is genuinely concerning. Are you all okay? Oh. <laughs> oh. I told my little sister she was going to hell for eating the last sugar cookie and she goes, I'll see you there, lesbian. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Viewing queer identities as this is the label that makes me happy and feels most accurate now, rather than this is who I am, was, and always will be, will definitely take the pressure off, friends. Changing your mind is proof that you have one. That is a really good way to think about things and to phrase things. That's a way to put it I might not have been able to put together myself, but that is so true. You also don't really need to prove who you are as long as you are happy in being who you are. That's the most important part. I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, Oh yeah, are you really? Prove it. They're weird. <laughs> you don't need to listen to them. As long as you're doing all right, that's what's important. <laughs> I am black tea. I am green tea. You reading this are a cute tea and have nice t- <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is born lesbian. <laughs> we were all possessed by a lesbian goat named Saphomet, Baphomet's aunt, and got asked if we wanted to live deliciously. We all said yes. <laughs> Rom-com about a lesbian seamstress and the Joan employee who falls a little bit more in love with her every time she asks the corporate mandated, so what are you making with this question? And the seamstress goes on a passionate rant about her project. It's called girlfriend material. Oh, and they were girlfriends. <laughs> oh, please, yes. Please make this. And please give it a happy ending. That's all I want. That's all. I just want a happy ending. Did all of you watch Bly Manor? Are you okay? <laughs> pause it partway through. You'll know what I mean. And you're okay. Just pause it. <laughs> when you're double income, no kids, lesbian, ought show up to unleash the gift reckoning on Christmas. <laughs> Your experiences are not universal, but God, I wish they were. Oh, oh. <laughs> hmm. So in one of my classes, we were making mood boards, just pieces of paper with magazine cutouts that represent us pasted all over them. And this guy I've never talked to leans over and he's like, you're gay, right? And I'm like, sort of. And he silently handed me a cutout of Ellen DeGeneres and went back to his work. The only real ally. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Sappho, whenever she's unable to finish her weaving because she's overcome with longing for a girl. Aphrodite. <laughs> You're sitting across from me in a terrible diner in anywhere America, and I watch you pour too much creamer in your coffee, and I think, I love you. You look up, catching me staring, and for a moment I think I'm brave enough to say it, but I take too long and the moment passes. I take the balled-up straw wrapper and flick it at you, pretending that it was my plan all along. You laugh. I never want to go another day without hearing that laugh. I think I will have all the time in the world to say it. OP, are you okay? Yes, I'm married to her now. We need more wholesome stories like this. That's really sweet. Also, talk! <laughs> say it! I believe in you! <laughs> the way that MLM and WLW interact is so different, like, MLM. I made eye contact with this guy once and I think we're married now? W -O -W. Every day she makes me pancakes and kisses me gently on the nose and holds my hand as she sings softly to me. We're such good friends. Real estate voice. I, I don't know what a real estate voice is. Forgive me. <laughs> it's the consequences of growing up with toxic masculinity making all emotional contact an intimate gesture versus growing up with heteronormativity trivializing all acts of intimacy as just gals being pals. Fudge. That hits close to home. Yeah. You can't really hold hands with your homies. Can't kiss your homies. Without people being like, Oh, you're married now. <laughs> but gals, you hold hands. You kiss your gal pals. But then, gosh, how do you know? I mean, you know, but... But do you know sometimes? I don't know. I feel like this whole subreddit <laughs> could be summed up just in terms of the communication aspect. How do you know? <laughs> oh. I think being able to recognize movements like this and being able to come together and communicate more clearly definitely helps 
both groups of people? I, mean, I don't want to live in a world where I can't kiss my homies. Do you? <laughs> no! <laughs> so let's change. Let's make this better. Let's learn from one another and do the best that we can. <laughs> Female koalas have become infamous for engaging in lesbian adult fun time. Females often overlook males and participate in adult fun time acts with other females, sometimes in orgies, up to five female koalas. <gasps> Maybe I am a koala. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> five? That's so many koalas! Five? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's an interesting picture to go with. Are they nomming on each other's noses? Oh my gosh. Koalas, you're so funny. <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos, that was our dive into r slash actual lesbians. What an amazing subreddit. I can't wait until we get to go back to it again. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this one. I had a ton of fun with it. Uh, if you're wearing your Santa ho-ho hats, Santa the ho-ho hats, you're welcome to take them off now. If you're finishing your mug of cocoa, you're welcome to get a refill. I hope you're having a wonderful winter time out there. If you don't have any plans on Christmas, come join Human One and I on Twitch. We're going to be streaming. <laughs> I also have a second channel. It's here. That's the name of it. <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos. We'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro! I'm gonna do what Click does for, for new subscriptions now. Just for you, that annoying hobbit, you were the first person ever. What do you do, Click? You you make them kiss, you you get you get the plushies, and then you... It, this is what you do, right? You, you get them real close, and then they... Oh, no, no, they kiss the microphone! That's right. Wah, there we go, they kiss the microphone. Okay, that took me a second. There's two wholesome friendy bros right there.